I've got some really good news for Nissan Leaf owners here today. And that's because finally, a CCS1 to Chatamo adapter is available for purchase. This is something that many Nissan Leaf owners have been waiting for, for seven or eight years now. They can finally access the thousands of CCS1 DC fast chargers, and they don't have to hunt for the few Chatamo plugs that are out there. So I've got a hold of one here today. We're gonna to talk about it in the upcoming video, and then we're gonna do a demonstration in a follow-up video to make sure this guy works as advertised. But for here today, we're gonna to do an unboxing, talk about the importance of this special adapter here. Okay, so before I get into the CCS1 to Chatamo adapter, I want to do a really quick overview on EV charging adapters because there's so many of them out there. Uh, I just want to make sure that maybe people that are new to electric vehicles understand what's going on here today. Okay, so there's two types of electric vehicle charging. There's AC charging on AC, which is alternating current electricity, and DC fast charging, which is direct current. DC fast chargers are the ones that you see along highways and rest stops and so forth, where you can charge your vehicles very quickly. That's why they're called DC fast chargers. AC chargers are the chargers typically that you'd find at home, like the ones behind me. There are AC chargers out in public uh, that you could also charge your electric vehicle on. AC chargers can take anywhere from, you know, five or six hours to 24 hours to fully charge an electric vehicle. Whereas DC fast chargers can charge an electric vehicle from 10% to 80% in 30 minutes or less. Some EVs take a little bit longer. Some EVs can do it a little bit quicker, but that's the difference uh, between AC and DC chargers. Big difference in speed. So the AC adapters are on this side of the box over here. Currently in North America, there's only two different plugs that are used for AC charging. And that's the uh, J1772 plug and the Tesla connector, or we're gonna call it the NAX connector here for North American charging standard. This is the Tesla connector, the NAX connector, and this is a J1772 connector. These are the only two connectors that are used in North America for electric vehicles. Oh, come on, I can't get this guy plugged in. When it comes to DC fast charging, there's a third connector. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And um, these two adapters here allow, uh, this one allows a non-Tesla vehicle, a vehicle that has a J1772, to charge from a Tesla charger. This adapter here allows a Tesla vehicle to charge on a J1772 charger. So with these two adapters here, all the electric vehicles in North America are covered for AC charging. With one of these two, any vehicle can charge on any AC charger out there. With DC fast charging, it's a little different. That's because there's three different connectors. There's the Tesla connector, there's the CCS1 combo connector, and then there's a connector called CHAdeMO, C-H-A-D-E-M-O. And currently, only the Nissan LEAF and the Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid use the uh, Chatamo connector. There were a couple other EVs years ago that were for sale. The uh, Kia Soul EV is one that comes to mind. Sold a very small volume. There's not a lot of them out there. The vast majority, as much as 95% of the uh, electric vehicles on the road in the US today with a Chatamo inlet are Nissan Leafs. Nissan transitioned from the Chatamo connector to the CCS1 connector for their new electric car, the Aria. So they pretty much put Chatamo behind them. They still use it on the Leaf, but the Leaf is being discontinued, I think, next year. Um, the fact of the matter is, though, Nissan sold a ton of Leafs. It was, for a long period of time, it was the uh, best-selling electric vehicle car in the world 
the Nissan Leaf. Nissan sold, uh, I wouldn't guess how many, more than half a million for sure. Um, here in the U.S., there's hundreds of thousands of them on the road. And when it comes to DC fast charging, they have to use a Chatamo DC fast charger. Uh, luckily, a few years ago, most of the new EV chargers that were being installed had two connectors, one with a Chatamo plug, one with a CCS. But there's way more CCS plugs out in the wild than there are Chatamo plugs because there's so few electric vehicles that use Chatamo. And uh, until now, Nissan Leaf and owners of the other vehicles that use Chatamo could only use a DC fast charger with a Chatamo plug on it. And unfortunately, because they get less utilization than the CCS1 uh, DC fast chargers, they're more likely to be broken or out of service. So it's very frustrating at times for Nissan Leaf owners because they find it difficult to find a working, functioning uh, Chatamo uh, DC fast charger. However, with this adapter here, they'll be able to access any of the CCS1 DC fast chargers out there, which is going to be such a relief for Nissan Leaf owners particularly the ones that frequently need to use DC fast chargers that go on long road trips. If you don't go on a lot of road trips and you basically charge at home most of the time, this isn't that big of an issue for you. But for those people that do do a lot of long distance traveling, this is a huge issue. State of Charge is powered by Qmerit. After I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charging equipment you're going to buy, follow the link in the description of my videos and let the EV charging installation professionals at Qmerit install it. Before I jump back into the review, I wanna ask the State of Charge community if they know of anybody that's having problems with their EV charger installation at home. That's because you may recall a few months ago, I did a video where a follower of mine had a problem with his Tesla home charger. It wasn't installed properly and he almost had a fire at his house. We did a video on that and it actually was very popular. I love the idea of doing that, going helping people fix problems they've had at their house. So I wanna follow up and do another video, maybe even do a series on this, but I need some help from the community. I need problems. If you have a problem with your home charger, something that maybe the electrician didn't do properly, or if you know of somebody that's having difficulty with their home charging setup, please let me know in the comment section here and I'll reach out to you and perhaps we can fix your EV charging problem. Okay, so really quickly, before we open the box, let's take a look at these two adapters here. These are uh, DC fast charging adapters. This adapter here allows Tesla vehicles to charge at CCS1 charging station. It's basically the Tesla version of this. This enabled Tesla vehicles to charge at CCS1 stations. This is gonna allow Chatamo vehicles to charge at CCS1 charging stations. And this does the opposite. This is brand new. These just came out within the last couple of months. This allows CCS1 vehicles to charge at Tesla superchargers. Okay, so we have these two things covered. These are kind of like the DC fast charge version of these AC chargers here. But now, as I said, DC fast charging has this third connector called Chatamo. There was a uh, Chatamo adapter that allowed Tesla vehicles to use Chatamo DC fast charging stations for a while. Uh, I did a video on one a long time ago, but they stopped selling those because quite honestly, once there was a uh, CCS1 adapter for Tesla vehicles, this would be the way to go. You wouldn't buy the Chatamo adapter because there's not as many Chatamo stations. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of them are broken and out of service. So now with this adapter here, from A to Z. This one's made from A to Z. There's a couple other companies from China coming out with them also, but this one here is from A to Z. And quite honestly, I deal a lot with A to Z and I trust their products. They make very good products. So this is the one that I would go with if I had a Nissan Leaf. Here's the adapter, this big hulking adapter. And they also include in the box some USB to USB-C uh, cables and a thumb drive. So I asked, uh, there's actually two cables and 
little thumb drive here. So I asked A to Z, why exactly did the, is this included in the box? And it's because they said, you know, this is a new product. And during their testing, they did find some compatibility issues with some Chatamo DC fast chargers out there. And they believe they've worked through all of them. But if another issue comes up and, you know, once these get in the hands of owners and they start charging them all over the country on all different chargers, on different networks, uh, they're there's a good chance they're going to come up with a compatibility issue. They're, they're urging customers to reach out to them if for some reason they find a Chatamo station that it's not working on. And what they'll do is their engineers will uh, come up with a fix and then you'll be able to plug this into your computer and oh, online they will uh, send a software flash to this and update it so that it will then work. So, um, you know, uh, early adopters, the people that buy these right now are going to kind of be beta testers on this thing. Uh, they claim that they believe it's working everywhere, but they will not be surprised if someone finds a station somewhere where there's some sort of a compatibility issue. And it doesn't surprise me either because when, when some of the other DC uh, fast charge adapters came out, the first versions of them years ago, there were all kind of compatibility issues. I actually talked about that in uh, videos that I made here on State of Charge. Okay, so... Here's the uh, adapter here. You'd plug in your CCS1. As a matter of fact, I have a CCS1 connector here. Even though this is an AC charger, this is one of the rare AC chargers that uses a CCS1 connector. So you'd plug this in here, and then you would plug this into your Nissan LEAF or uh, other Chatamo uh, equipped electric vehicle. And you, I assume it looks like you press a button on the top here. Actually, yeah, it lit up now that I... Uh, that I have this connector uh, attached to it. Before the connector was attached, it wasn't lit up. Uh, and then it'll start charging. And you press this button here to stop charging and to release the connector. Because when you press this button here, this little tab here drops down and it will unlock the adapter from your vehicle. Now, I will note, and I talk about safety and uh, um, uh, adapter policy, uh, currently, all of the DC fast charger net networks out there, well, the major ones at least, have said they, they do not support the use of non-authorized adapters on their networks. They put out statements saying, you know, if there's any damage, you're going to be liable. We don't want you to use them. So uh, I don't know. I haven't heard that this was a um, approved adapter by any automaker yet. Um, it would be, Nissan would actually probably be the one that they would be looking to get approval from. And uh, uh, I, I know uh, A to Z is always very proactive talking to OEMs, but I haven't heard anything out of Nissan yet that says, yeah, we tested this thing, go ahead and use it, it's safe. Uh, if that changes, I'll update this video. Actually, I'll talk about it in my next video uh, because my next video, I'm, I'm gonna actually lease uh, Nissan Leaf and we're going to do some charge recordings and tests with this. I, I don't have time to do it here today. I just wanted to uh, do an unboxing and show you guys this and, and uh, uh, make sure you know that this is out and it's available. It's available for sale on the uh, A to Z website. And uh, they actually set up a, uh, a discount code with, uh, if you use state of charge, all one word, you get 10% off. This is going to be for a limited time, though. I don't know how long they're going to run that. But for now, at least um, you, uh, you use state of charge coupon code, you're going to get 10% off. And that's a good chunk of change because this baby here is $999. This is a super expensive adapter. Um, I've actually seen the prices for these from some of the other companies coming out of China, and they're actually cost a little bit more. So I think A to Z was aggressive marketing on this compared to some of the other adapter prices. So you'd get a hundred bucks off if you use the state of charge uh, discount code. Uh, again, that's limited time. I don't know how long A to Z is going to run that. Uh, but for now, at least at the launch of this product, and they have them in stock and they are shipping them. They began shipping this week. So um, th if this is something that you order, you're not going to be waiting months for it. And I know uh, um, most uh, Nissan Leaf owners will probably pass on this because it's $1,000. But I guarantee there are a lot of people out there that own Nissan Leafs that have been waiting for this. Because I've received comments throughout the years here at State of Charge emails, messages, Tom, where can I get a Chatamo adapter so I can use CCS1 chargers? It's not fair. You know, Tesla can use the CCS1 chargers. We can't. Why isn't there an adapter? I've even gone on record as saying that I believe Nissan should have made one themselves because their electric vehicle that they sold was kind of orphaned with, uh, 
you know, DC fast charging, Chatamo was kind of left behind here in North America. It's still very big in Japan and probably always will be. Almost all the EVs in Japan come standard with uh, Chatamo inlets and uh, that's the standard in Japan. But it never really took off here in North America. Uh, Nissan was first to market with the Leaf. It was the first mass produce affordable electric vehicle. They started selling it in uh, 2010. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I said, it was the best selling electric vehicle back then. And there was no CCS1 standard back then. Uh, it hadn't been fully developed and approved yet. So uh, Nissan needed to make something and they partnered, I think, with Tempco, the uh, Japanese utility, and uh, developed uh, this uh, to the standard, the Chatamo standard, and that's how it got started. They, they were first movers on this. And Tesla had the same issue. When Tesla came out, the Roadster, there were no fast charging standards. So they developed their own plug for it. And then when they made the Model S, their real first high volume vehicle, they changed that and they, they started a new plug. That's when they started using the Tesla connector that we know today. But the Roadster was fit, outfitted with a totally different connector. Back you know, 15 years ago, it was the Wild West with EV uh, connectors. There was no standard and everyone was kind of making their own. My first electric vehicle, uh, the Mini E, the electric Mini Cooper had its own connector. That was before J1772 was even started. So that's why Nissan has the uh, is using Chatamo. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a great step forward for Nissan LEAF owners that do a lot of long distance traveling and need to use DC fast chargers. This is going to be really, really liberating for them. Uh, as for the power, they should be able to accept as much power as any Nif Nissan LEAF can, can handle. Nissan LEAFs don't really charge at very high DC fast charging rates. This is rated at 1,000 volts and 250 amps, way higher than anything any Nissan LEAF can accept. So this should shouldn't slow down your charging at all. You should be able to accept the maximum power that you can DC fast charge at. Um, so listen, let me know what you think about this guy in the comments section. It's about time that this thing came available. Quite honestly, I still believe Nissan should do something about this for their LEAF owners. They have a loyal bunch of Nissan LEAF owners. If I, I tell you, if I was running Nissan's electric vehicle program, I would buy one of these, whether it's from A to Z or one of the other companies. I would have my engineers fully vet them out, see which one I think is the best one on the market and uh, make a bunch of them available to our existing customers. Tell Nissan LEAF customers, look, we know that uh, we're selling you an EV that has a standard that has been retired, that isn't really in use anymore. To help take the edge off that, we're going to offer you one of these at below market value and say, you know, tell people, we'll sell it to you for half price. We'll eat the other half, and maybe they can even get a good deal if they were to buy, you know, 5,000 of them from, from A to Z. They wouldn't pay the full $1,000 retail. They can get a bulk shipping price and then uh, and then pass that savings along to their customers. I think that would be the right thing to do for Nissan because Nissan LEAF owners have kind of suffered with the fact that they're stuck uh, charging on Chatamo stations at a slower rate and the fact that there just aren't as many Chatamo stations out there as there are CCS. Uh, listen, let me know what you think about the new CCS1 to Chatamo adapter. Let me know, particularly I want to hear from Nissan LEAF owners. If this is something that they want to buy, if this is something that they're interested, what's your questions about it? What's your concerns about it? And as I said, my next video on this uh, topic here is going to be me using this guy at a DC fast charger, charging up a Nissan LEAF. I'm gonna probably need to rent one, but if I have any followers that live here in the Northern New Jersey area that own a Nissan LEAF, please reach out to me in the comment section if you're willing to let me use your EV in the video to uh, see how this guy works in real world. Uh, listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.